Hi and welcome. I'm Lisa. Thanks so much for joining me on my YouTube channel or blog for another card tutorial. My inspiration for this video comes from my need to create a 4th of July card and not having specific stamp sets for that. Now this is not new to me but I thought it might be helpful for someone who is wanting to stretch the use of their stamps. One of the things I will often do is find a non-specific theme stamp set and use inks and or card stocks that fit the holiday or theme I need. And while I'm still building up my supply of sentiment stamps, often I will print my sentiments on my printer. I'll be using the Concord and Ninth Stitch Turnabout Stamp for this video. This stamp set, along with all the other products, will be linked below and you can find them on my blog post as well. The Turnabout Stamp comes with an alignment aid. Make sure the words this side up are right side up and positioned at the top. You want to lay the stamp on the alignment aid, taking care to align it stamp side down. I'm using a jig I purchased from Concord and Ninth, and you'll notice the jig has an X on it. You want to align the X on the jig with the X on the alignment aid. Pick the align stamp up with the lid of the Misty. Remove the alignment aid, and you're ready to stamp. I have a piece of cardstock here that I'm adding repositionable tape to the back of just to hold it in place while I work. I'm working with Distress Inks in the colors Chip Sapphire, Hickory Smoke, and Barn Door today. I don't show my Distress Inks enough love and they work so great, so I'm going with it. This process is very straightforward. You ink the stamp, stamp it, Turn the jig once, be sure to clean your stamp, and repeat the process two to three more times. I'm only using three inks with this card, so this is going to be pretty quick. I run this through my die cutting machine off screen with a three inch round die cut to cut the very center out. I also die cut a four using the Simon Says Big Number dies and Schoolhouse Red cardstock backed with double sided adhesive. Earlier, I talked about printing some sentiment just until I expand my collection of stamps. So here you can see I printed the Happy of July onto a piece of vellum. It's Strathmore Laser Translucent Vellum. It's a very lightweight, 29 pounds, and it runs through my printer beautifully. My printer is not a fan of heavy cardstock, so this is a great substitute. The font is Copper Plate Gothic Light. I'm ready to start assembling the card, so I'm adding 3D mounting foam to the back of the card panel. I want to center the panel on my card base by doing a dry fit. Then, using a pencil, I lightly place tick marks under the edge of the panel at the top and bottom positions to make centering the sentiment easier. Once I'm happy with the alignment of everything, I add adhesive to the vellum and secure it to the card base. Earlier, I cut a strip from a scrap piece of navy card stock. I want to center that in the middle of the round window I die cut earlier, and I secure it to the back side using Gina K Connect glue. I also add a small piece of 3D mounting foam to the back of the strip to keep it from sagging. I remove the backing from the 3D mounting foam so I can center the panel on my card base. Now I want to add my die cut four. So I peel the backing off of the adhesive and I add a few small pieces of mounting foam to the top and bottom of the four and center that on the navy strip of cardstock. Before I adhere the TH to the four, I use a white gel pen and add a little detail just to define it. I could call it done, but I decide to add three sequins around the 4th, and here's my finished 4th of July card. I want to share a few more samples I made using the same stamp set to create a Valentine, St. Patrick, and Christmas card. By changing my ink colors and using sentiments that tie my card into a holiday or theme, I can stretch the use of this one stamp set. I do believe that's a wrap for this video. I hope you enjoyed joining me today and that you'll give this a try sometime. I want to encourage you to leave any comments or suggestions below. I do hope you'll hit the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified of new content to my channel. 
be sure to subscribe to my website to have access to my videos before they are published to the public. As always, know I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and until next time my crafty friends, keep crafting.